ever seen tiny flickering dots floating across your vision like static on an old TV screen? If those dots never go away or they linger, even when you close your eyes, you may be living with something called visual snow syndrome. If this is a real neurologic condition that doctors are only beginning to understand and recognize. Visual snow syndrome is not just about the eyes themselves. It's about how the brain processes what we see. People describe it as millions of tiny, fast moving dots across their entire visual field, lasting more than months. And it affects both eyes. For years, it was mistaken for an aura as a part of a migraine headache. But now we are beginning to understand that unlike a migraine aura, visual snow doesn't just come and go, it's there. Now, in addition to the snow-like effect, patients will often have other visual problems. They may see trailing images called palinopsia, where objects seem to leave a faint shadow. They may be sensitive to light. Um, they'll struggle with like the light indoors, fluorescent bulbs, and they'll prefer darkened environments. That's called photophobia. Some also have nyctalopia or poor night vision, which is often pronounced when they're trying to drive. Outside the eyes, many report a tinnitus, which is a constant ringing sound in the ears. And then there's some psychiatric symptoms of depression and even an inability to maintain balance when walking. Now, the exact cause of this is unknown, but brain imaging studies suggest a hyperactivity in the visual cortex, which is a part of the brain that processes what we see and allows it to be recognized to us. Lingual gyrus is the part of the brain that helps us process visual information, letters and complex images to allow us to recognize the pattern. Researchers think that this overactivity in these two centers of the brain cause a constant background noise. There's no cure yet. But some patients do notice improvement with certain medications such as lamotrigine and divalproic sodium, which calm nerve excitability. These two drugs are often used in seizure disorder. Others have found that wearing tinted colored filter glasses reduce the brightness of the snow-like pattern. Lifestyle changes do include minimizing screen glare, managing stress, and avoiding certain drug triggers which patients have identified. Visual snow can be frustrating, and it may often be misdiagnosed as a migraine or other form of headache. It is considered under the umbrella of headache diseases. I'm Dr. Nazing Jamal. I'm here to make the medicine make sense. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.